Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send SMS on form submission. So imagine this, a guy called as John has filled out your Google Forms. So you have John's name, email address and the phone number. So you want to send a thank you SMS to John for filling out the form. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy all the details of John from Google Forms, sort it out, compose a message and send it as an SMS. Now this process is actually very repetitive and tiresome considering many people will be filling out your Google Forms. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new response is generated in Google Forms, it will automatically send SMS to your respondents. Now in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Google Forms and SMS sending apps like T7 networks. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So as you can see, this is my Google form and I have constructed a registration form called as Parks Dance Competition Registration. And uh, we are going to fill in some details. So let's say a guy called as Jerry Maguire is filling in the form. So these are the details. So he has entered his name, his phone number as well as the email. And uh, after entering all those details, Jerry Maguire is submitting the form. Okay, so the form has been submitted by Jerry Maguire. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the reports of uh, uh, in D7, whether the SMS has been sent or not. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the message that I'm showing in the reports. Hello, Jerry, Jerry Maguire. Thanks for registering for the Sparks Dance Competition. You will be getting the confirmation email on address. This is the email address that Jerry Maguire had filled. So basically, this is what we want to do. Anytime a form is filled in Google Forms, uh, the respondent will be getting a message from me. So to begin the actual integration process, uh, let me just uh, open a new type. And here, let me just type pavli.com. Pavli.com it is. Okay, so your obvious question is why pavli.com? So we have an app called as Pavli Connect that will integrate Google Forms and SMS sending apps like Twilio, D7 and more. So let me just uh, click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pavli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pavli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Let me just click on access now. Okay, so as you can see, I already have created an integration workflow of Google Forms and D7. I'm actually going to switch this off. Okay, otherwise it will keep sending double results. So what I'm going to do here is we are going to begin from scratch. Let me just click on create workflow. Okay, so as you can see a window appears in front of you. I'm going to give a name to this workflow. Let me give it as Google Forms to D7. D7 to send SMS. Okay, so let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as a trigger window. So basically, we are going to build a new workflow for integrating Google Forms and D7 to send the SMS. Now, after I created this workflow, I will uh, put the link of this workflow in the description box so that you can clone it for your convenience. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Forms? Google Forms it is. Google Forms, yeah, Google Forms. And in the trigger event, how about we make it as new response in spreadsheet? Okay, so new response is in a spreadsheet is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new response is made in Google Forms, then what action should be taken by the system? Now at present, we only have one trigger event that is new response in spreadsheet. Now there is one question that might be bothering you why it is showing the trigger event as new response in spreadsheet, not new response in something like Google Forms or a new New lead captured in Google Forms, something like that. It should be something like something related to Google Forms, not spreadsheet. So the answer is very simple. Google Forms sends the data, the respondents data directly to Google Sheets. And from Google Sheets using Pavli Connect, we are going to send it to third party apps like D7 or Twilio. So that is why let me just uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just uh, going to uh, start with a new Google Form. OK, so let me just uh, start with a new Google Form. We are basically going to start from scratch. Okay, so let's say um, TikTok singing competition, singing competition registration. Okay, so this is, I'm sorry about the spelling. Okay, so this is the spelling. Okay, TikTok singing competition registration. And of course, we have the same fields that is the name. And then we have the email. Now, of course, you can add more fields according to your discretion, but I'm happy with three of them. 
okay so this is my number phone number okay so basically we have uh, again entered uh, three fields name email as well as the number so basically what we're trying to do here is uh, we are trying to fetch the data the respondents data from this particular form into public connect so let me just uh, close this it's not really important okay so to actually begin the integration process uh, in the last field the number field i'm just going to toggle this to the right so this will ensure that this particular field has to be filled okay and let me just uh, rename it as tiktok singing competition registration okay so what next what next so basically at this point we are going to create a new google sheet for this particular form so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on response then click on create spreadsheet click on this icon so here we have two choices create a new spreadsheet select existing spreadsheet so i'm going with this one create a new spreadsheet and it has also given a default name to this uh, spreadsheet i'm happy with it so let me just uh, click on create Okay, so it is creating. Okay, so as you can see, a new spreadsheet is being created and it basically has the same fields, the name, email and the number. So we have the name, email as well as the number. So basically what happens is whenever uh, the respondent fills in this form, he will be getting the person's data. For example, if a guy called as John has filled in this form, the data of John will be reflected here. And from here, it will go to Public Connect. And from Public Connect, it can go to third party apps like T7, Twilio or any other apps, any other remarkable apps. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, I'm going to integrate this particular uh, Google Sheet to Public Connect. So first of all, let me just click on add-ons. Now, before we go there, there is something I need to show you. So as you can see, the last data entry column is column D. Okay, I repeat again, the last data entry column is column D. That is something that you should know. And let me just uh, go to Public Connect webhooks. So as you can see, um, Okay, so basically this is our Google Sheet and the idea is that once a respondent fills in this form, the data of the respondent will come here and from here it will go to Public Connect. That's the basic idea. So there is something you should know. As you can see, the last data entry column is column D. Okay, I repeat again, the last data entry column is column D. So let me just uh, go to add-ons. As you can see, we have an add-on called as Public Connect Webhooks installed in my spreadsheet. Now, this is an add-on that uh, since you are beginning fresh might not have been installed yet. So first of all, let's uh, go to this part called as Get Add-ons. So when you actually click on uh, Get Add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. So all you have to do is uh, just type Public Connect Webhooks and uh, Public Connect Webhooks will be also installed. Okay, so as you can see, this is the button through which you can install. As you can see, it is already installed. Click this and have it installed in your system also. Now, there is something you should know after installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat again, after installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Okay, so it has already been installed. Let me just close this. Okay, going back to add-ons, clicking on Public Connect Webhooks. Let me just click on this button, Initial Setup. Click this. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. Now we have to fill in the two blanks that is the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Now the trigger column as I mentioned before is the last data entry column and our last data entry column is column D. So basically whenever the column D that means the last data entry column is filled it will send the data. Okay, so basically now we have to enter the webhook URL. So to get the webhook URL let me go to public connect and let me just copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the webhook URL. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on submit. Okay. Okay, so the window has gone. Let me just go back to add-ons, clicking on Public Connect webhooks. And once again, let me just go to this part and let me just click on send on event. So this will ensure that every time any row in column D is filled, it will keep sending on the data. So basically at this point, we have integrated this particular Google Sheet to Public Connect. Okay, so basically this means that Public Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me just click on this button, capture webhook response. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on response okay i'm sorry i'm just going to click on preview okay and i'm going to fill in some details so let's say a guy called as tom cruise is filling in the form so this is his phone number okay i'm sorry we have to just uh, enter the phone number we have actually pasted the webhook url so this is my phone number okay so this is the phone number of tom cruise he has filled his name tom cruise this is the email and this is the number so let me just click on submit okay so a submission has been made by tom cruise so let's have a look did we got the data of tom cruise in our google sheets
Yes, we do have the data of Google Sheet. Now there is one additional column that is for the timestamp. So basically it is the time at which the data was captured. So the, this is the name that is Tom Cruise. This is the email Tom Cruise 1234 at gmail.com and this is of course the number. Now since the column D has been filled, the trigger should be activated. Basically at this point it means that all this data should be sent to Public Connect. So let's have a look. Yes, the data has been sent. So the name is Tom Cruise. The email is Tom Cruise 1234 at the rate gmail.com. And this is the number. So basically on this number, Tom Cruise will be getting the SMS. Okay, so to send the SMS, we will be using D7. Now, of course, you can work with many other SMS sending apps like Twilio or even WhatsApp messengers. But uh, for the time being, we are actually using D7. D7 networks. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as send SMS? Okay, so at this point, we only have one action event that is send SMS. If you want more action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate .com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send an SMS. Okay, so let me just click on connect with D7. In the new credentials, we have to fill in the SMS API token. So to get the SMS API token, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to D7. Okay, so this is the dashboard of T7 and this is the SMS API token. So let me just copy this. Okay, and let me just paste it here. Okay, so this is the SMS API token that I have filled. So let me just uh, click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create a or a compose a message in uh, D7 networks from the data that we have received from uh, Google Forms via Public Connect. Now in the sender ID, we basically have to copy this. Okay, so this is the, this is my sender ID and I'm going to paste it here. Now, if you want more uh, dedicated sender IDs or more want more sender IDs, you actually have to purchase it. But I'm happy with this one. Okay, so this is basically my sender ID. Now to the number. So basically, this is my number. Okay, this is basically Tom Cruise's number. So this is the number at which he will be getting the SMS okay and the message body is something like hello Tom Cruise you have been selected for a TikTok singing competition and you will be getting updates on this number okay so let me just map in the number once again okay so okay and email and this is the email okay we have mapped it hello tom cruise you have been selected for tiktok singing competition and you will be getting an update uh, an update okay on this number <laughs> something on this number okay and the email and this email okay so basically we have composed the message body. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, the API response is not giving anything. Now there is something you should know, actually I forgot. So basically, if you are going to enter the person's number, okay, so there is something you should know, it is demanding the country code. Now in this case, my, uh, the person's country code is 91. So I have inserted it. Okay, so let's check it now whether it will send the message or not. It should show success. Okay, yeah. So the message has been sent. So basically, always remember you have to enter the country code. So in front of the, this country code, that is that is 91. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is next, I'm just um, taking you to uh, D7 networks. Okay. And I'm just going to work on the report. So let me just uh, refresh this. Okay. So let's see whether Tom Cruise, yes, Tom Cruise has also received the SMS. Hello, Tom Cruise. You have been selected for TikTok singing competition. You'll be getting an update on this number and this email Tom Cruise 1234 at the rate gmail.com. So the presence of uh, this uh, SMS shows that we have successfully integrated Google Forms and D7 networks with help of Public Connect. Now before you go away, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. First you integrated Google Forms to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to D7 networks. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Forms and D7 networks. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Public Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.